We're live. Oh, hi. Hi. So you're going to have to just say what you're doing. In All right, everybody. Good morning, good morning, or afternoon for those. Since we're in Hawaii, we guys are probably afternoon. New products coming out, new things for uh, Silhouette here at the Silhouette Summit. They said yes. She's, I'm having dinner with her at the New Greeting, York Station. Greetings show, all. So. We're just kind of looking I down. I posted every one live video, so. Uh, yeah. Well, that's I why I was like, I don't. Well, I know, so. So, yeah, just go ahead and go around and look at all the new tables and the colors. Okay, hi, Mary. Okay. Is this, so, is this the one that these guys just showed? Like with the screen? Hi, Julie. Hi, Gabby. That's different. This is all existing products. So, this is stuff that's actually already existing. We're just kind of showing it okay. again. Okay. Uh, Okay. Uh, continue on. Oh, it's a lovely, okay. the lovely Teresa Collins, everybody. Say hi to everyone. Hello. Okay. So this is going to be the new big thing that they're coming out with. So they've teamed up with Oracle's 651 Premium Name Vinyl. So they're going to come out with 12 colors. Uh, some will, there will be 12 by 4 feet, as you can see here. Can you guys here not hear me? Hello, hello. I hope you can hear me. It's a, it's a noisy room. Uh, there'll be 12 more. There's a black, silver, white, and a few other ones. So this will be part of it. Okay, glad you can hear it. So here's some of the uh, new Oracle. Here's the whole line of Oracle. There's a sample pack that they're coming out with. Lilac, Azure. Saudi Arabia, never been. Welcome, welcome. We'll just kind of tilt down, kind of see how their stuff is here. Look at all that stuff. There's just some, if any of you guys have worked with Oracle, you know how great this stuff is. It is a really great vinyl. Okay. And then on top of that, here's some of the, we got a couple new silhouette um, metallic that's really, really beautiful stuff. Like here's an example of something they cut. Here's a beautiful, this looks like stainless steel. This stuff, is, this is a silver. Look at that stuff. Here's the black version of it. We also got coming out with uh, transfer tapes. This is a little now. <laughs> you know it, Renee. And then they've got this, uh, this one looks really cool. I hope you guys can see that. Textured translucent. So this is the new translucent so when you pull it off let me just show you an example here here's the one in pink so this is one of the colors here's something like this so you can see that you can kind of see it's translucent look at that that beautiful so they come in on, uh, these are the other colors. Here's the uh, bright green. Sorry for the focus, it wants to focus on other things. What I think I'll do is I'll do this. So there's the co other colors that it's coming in. They're also coming out with a, uh, a better glitter vinyl. Yes, we are, yes, Christy, in Hawaii. Aloha, aloha. Look at this, this stuff actually, when, so when you feel it, you can feel the really nice glitter effect on it. So this is glitter vinyl. And these are the colors they're coming in. Almost all of this vinyl, all of this other stuff is $9.99 for a 12 by 48 inch. That's 12 by 48 and they said $9.99. There's 
another view of their stuff. Got a sand, they've got a, a nice, this one here is the uh, Variety Pack Silver Pack, and this one's going to be for the uh, breast awareness portions of the so proceeds will go to them. They donated over almost $115,000 last year. Yeah, good price for their vinyl. I think it's really good. We'll just kind of roam down here again. Here's that textured. This, this stuff is new, the texture translucent. So this is very, very cool. Just in case if you didn't see what it looks like, this is what kind of what it looks like. And then some of their uh, metallics. So it's not super, super shiny, but still get that nice look of it. All right, let's move on. Let's see, what do we got next? So one of the things they're doing is that they're um, teaming up with, of course, all their educational stuff. So schools can do this. And the other part that they're doing is they're uh, teaming up with uh, Canon for print and cut. Believe it or not, this thing here, all paper, including all the gears, maybe you can't see it, but there's gears inside there, and this will turn all because of paper. Very cool. Yeah, beautiful 3D stuff here. Okay, so with the bundle, um, it's going to be a Canon um, inkjet printer that is included. Okay, and that's going to be the G32 update. So these are some ideas of things that they can cut. So this is one of the things is uh, being able to cut. Um, um, no, we're not restricting you to... to there's, going to be, a, there's going to be a barcode yeah. so that this thing can read yeah, please do. Please do. on some of the software. Can this cut wood? No, no, Renee. <laughs> Here's, uh, like I said, they're, can they're uh, teaming up with Canon, being able to print, barcode, cut. Yeah, and this is so. This is how it cut out. Nice job. It's a partnership with Canon, yeah. so they're taking Canon files yep. and creating the cut files, so you don't have to do anything. Yes, that's so cool. Yes, very, very cool. All right, let's. Who wants, to, who wants to see the 3D printer? Okay, let's get over here real quick. There's Kenny. Where are we going, Kenny? So they have now, they're finally going to come back out like we did last year. They talked about the Alta, the Silhouette Alta, the 3D printer. And it's going to start coming out next month, first of the month, right? Mm -hmm. So, first of the month, the Alta comes back out, will be available. So some things that you can create. Because a lot of these would be great for, like you said, for the baseball team, so they can make um, earrings, but also girl parties, stuff like that, where the girls are going to wear necklaces or hand out girls. As you said, the nice thing about this kind of printer, it takes up a very small footprint. The price point of this one is $2.99. And I think they get, you get, and the uh, filaments will be sold at $14.99, and I think you get 500 grams, and it's PSA filament, mm -hmm. PSA filaments. Now, are they supposed to get a filament, or do they have to buy the filament? I think you'll get one package in the start, get one package but then the... you can buy the extra filament in all the basic colors, which yeah, is over it is, here. It is a little cheaper than we thought, too, so not too bad. Let's see if we come over here, we'll kind of see what the packaging looks like for the filament. So it's PLA. PLA, sorry. So it's PLA. So five. So it's five hundred. Five point five kilograms is the type. And then oh, there no. it is, out of the box. So here's what it looks like. Yeah, you probably saw it here. So here's what it comes like. And it will come in more colors other than just this, what you see: white, black, blue, green, yellow, um, a few, and a few other ones on top of that. So this was this is their big push this year, because it's because they showed it last year, and then this year. Um, it's finally coming out because they did some tweaking on the software and whatnot. And you can also do this, uh, create the 3D 
from the Silhouette 3D um, software. So it's a separate software, and yeah. it literally is a, a click and drag and yeah. customized. So it's very click. easy. To yeah. Use. So very very cool. What else we got? Well, so what do we got here? Okay. So this is what they're calling Instatrace, capture it and cut it. So what exactly is this we're is this looking new? at? This oh, might be sorry. so sorry. Is this something new or is it? Oh, okay. this is in development. Okay. It's called InstaTrace. Um, and it basically allows you to take your picture of any object on your phone. Okay. Um, see where I, there you are. So I can take a picture of that. Take a picture. Um, it's imported it into the software here. And so that image has now been traced and is now cut wow. lines that you could send directly to the portrait. Wow. Um, That's very cool. So is it just so, for a portrait or can you use it on the Cameo 3? Or? Um, you can use it with any any of the customers. So you can take a picture of anything and it creates a cut file for it. Yes. So she basically took a picture of that and then over there is through the software and place it on there. And any of the machines can trace it up. Look at that. That is very, very cool. Thank you. So very, very cool stuff. All right. So one of the other programs, this is one of the, uh, that's very, very cool, is that you can actually, this is, you the can add color, color font. And is this also the create your own font? No, this is no. just the color font. So it can do color font. So you can see an, an, one right down there. All right. What it does. So let me see. So here's one of the things about color fonts. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. Perfect. Thank you. And can you change the design in the color font? Like if you didn't want that design in one of the multiple colors. We're in uh, Oahu in Waikiki. And then it also had one of the other programs is that you can create puzzle. You could manually. You can automatically take up a picture and create puzzle pieces. Very, very cool. Now, the other thing that they are doing with the font is that you can uh, actually create your own font. I'm going to squeeze by the ladies here and I'll show you what we mean. So, you'll get basically a blank version of this. Then, you yourself take a black pen and write in your own handwriting, like this is somebody's handwriting right here. You do it your own way. You would then scan this in, so, and it becomes your own font. So you can create your own wing bats, basically? Um, yeah, we got one. Um, they put some glyphs onto the font before they print it out. Yeah. So that's not another method of... But if I wanted to, I could technically draw my own line of smiley faces and scan it in. That is amazing. So you don't have to stick to the letter. I can do anything in that box. Yeah, you don't have to write. Like he just said, you don't have to write right in the box. Literally do anything. So Kenny could literally take his own handwriting. Or Teresa Collins and upload it. And then our, our, our week steal Teresa's handwriting. Let's not do that. That might be bad. <laughs> Yes, you can. You can just go to her store and get it. Yeah. That'd be cool. We like it. Don't need another machine. Yeah, because you, you for this to work, is you would need some. Okay. So you would need to. I'm gonna double check that. And then when this gets done and I scanned it in, will it create a document? Yeah. So, well, that means to the computer that where I can use technically anywhere? Yes, anywhere, what software, oh. anything, into Silhouette 3D, like you, like what can I Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Pretty good. So that is cool, you guys. So you don't be able to draw anything in the box. It doesn't even have to be a Yeah, you can you do whatever you want. And it will actually download it to a .ttf file, so you can actually upload it to other software systems. But you have computer. to have a scanner, obviously. Well, you use the machine scanner. So you just use the you machine. Have to have the, you have to have the Silhouette Studio and the machine to scan in. The right. Studio. So you there you go. Machine, you can create it from scratch in the digital editor as well. Wow. And then this is the puzzle though. Um, yeah, I showed that. that. Yeah. So, that's yeah. Cool. so cool. we didn't see new tools or pens today. I don't think. No. The only the, thing they have is they have they have. Work, yeah, we're, we're going north thing. One of the other things they do have a pink version. There is a pink. Uh, for the for the breast one, but no pens. 
So one of the things that they're also coming out was creating your own silk screening. So here is silk screening. Yeah, sorry about that, Vivian. So you can actually create, if you've got their own, can you come over here and help explain, help explain this a little bit? So this, so this is to create your own silk screens. So these, oh. these are silk screens. So like you can take the, the silhouette ink, silhouette ink which is over there. Here's some of the, here's their inks. So, so this is a fabric ink, and I'm sure any fabric ink will really work, but here's a fabric um, ink. I got accepted for all the brands that we have. Oh, beautiful brand. purple. Some interesting things about it. Um, Chocoturi inks would also work? Yes, probably so. So anyway, so, so you basically get, what it is, if you have the fabric ink and you're going to be able to create a silk screen. So a silk screen, if you guys don't know what a silk screen is, is a really fine mesh. Once it frees up up there, I can show you. Yeah, we'll show you when so we get it up there. So you cut something like this on your silhouette cameo or portrait, and then you go through a process of creating it in silk screen, which is... So, you can see, so here's, fine mesh. here's that fine, fine mesh. So basically, you'll cut it out on this. So... You cut it out on this, then what ends up happening is you're going to take this and put the mesh on it. Yep. And then you'll have created your own mesh and it comes with wood and everything. Could so you use this with the Cricut? Everybody's running. Yes, you could, technically. Yes, you could technically. You technically use it with any machine. Yeah. And that's the other cool thing is is even creating your your own font files. You can yeah. download it to your computer and yeah. upload it into Cricut. So there you go. Look at that. So, look at so as soon as we can get kind of pop over here, we'll kind of show you. Yeah, I know. Sold. Renee, you're so right. So basically, you're going to get I'm gonna the sneak, frame. I'm going to sneak in here, guys. And then all of that stuff. So so here's this mesh. Here's the mesh, just just like you always see in a silk screen. The stuff that you'll actually do the cutting with, the vinyl part, then you connect the two together. And then here's the frame. Like that. It comes with it comes with black, but you can also get that. You also get a little hook tool so you can do your uh, weeding. You get a spatula or a spreader. As you can see, it fits just like so. So Ben uh, here has the here's here's what it really looks like all together. I'll just tilt down so you guys can see this. You got it, Barbara. So I'm gonna. So what they did is they were able to. You, it's cut where you can fold both sides together in the top here, so it holds onto it. So this is nice and taut. Okay. So as you can see, the white one. This has been cut out. It's got the mesh behind it. So it's cut on. The, it's a little bigger. Actually, on all four sides there. Tighten it all down. Once the mesh is together, and then you just take your ink, like so, put it across, and then take this, put your whatever you're gonna do it on, swipe, you're done. And it's just like that. So this is what it's called for those who wanted it. Yeah. So, yeah, let me get up to Kenny so we can see this. Now, there's the mesh. Cutting the vinyl, attaching the mesh. Yeah, yeah, and you just stretch it, connect it, and tighten it up so it's slightly tight. Yeah, so it's really amazing stuff. So. Now, I'll ask Ben if it needs to be heat press. My question somebody just asked me, does this need to be heat cured or does it dry and it's done? Heat cured, okay. Okay. And after that, it's, you can let it wash. So there you go. So you want it quick, heat it. If you don't, just let her, let her do it. There you go. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's very, very cool. You bet, Patty, no problem. My pleasure. Yeah, literally any machine can cut this. 
Yeah, yeah. It's you're just cut you create your design. Yeah. So there you go. Let's go on on to more here. Let's see. So I can only see some Yeah, Cam's wheels are turning. The new, uh, the next stuff they're doing is called a doming kit. So once I can tilt down here, a doming kit. So I'm gonna take one here. So that you're able to take a picture, a printout, something or anything like that. And you're going to get a resin and place the resin on this to create a dome effect. I know it's very hard because it's not that tall. I've they got somewhere where we can actually touch it. So we'll go over there. Or you can take it. Look, yeah, I'm, I got it. Look yeah, at she's this. going. She's, it's hard to see. I'm going to see one maybe over there. We yeah. can kind of look at a, at a side view. Here we go. There. So there's stickers. And the resin, it's, it's really hard, but it's, it's there. So the acrylic or the resin that they put on there gives it that dome effect. It takes about 12 hours to dry. You do get a special paper for it. And I'll show you the box here in one second. Yes, your inner 10 year old would be really good. So I'm gonna come over here real quick so you can kind of see it better. And we might be see a little better on this. So, so you can kind of see how the resin just gives it a slightly humped or uh, effect and they call it a doming kit so here's a video of them showing it so we'll show it real quick here this will rotate again here in a second so give it a second we'll uh, it'll rotate and do it one more time here and you can kind of get at the idea of what we were trying to say so you do your print out on the special stuff. No heat needed, just drying time. So you print, cut, and then you get a syringe with the two epoxies, no measuring, apply it, adjust it with, a pet, with that. Once you adjust it, wait 12 hours, dry, and now you got a sticker. So it's a sticker paper, and you're done. You got a nice little, room. and I'm sure you could do this even with an actual picture picture if you wanted to do that as well. So here's, a, I'll uh, tilt down here real quick and we'll see how the, how it comes in the kit. Sorry the different colors here. So this is what the kit comes with. Yes, Cricut Print and Kent will work as well. So this is the main one. They will also sell a kit uh, just for more resin and also for just more of the paper that you need. So you can also buy them separately too. So yeah, there you go. This is way cheaper, so we might want to All right, let's see. So this is the, so this is the new craft blade that they're coming out. So this is new. So the craft blade is gonna allow you to cut things like, that is also very difficult to I know, thanks. Cut things like crepe paper to create flowers. You'll be able to cut the very hard to cut felt. And you will not need any bonding uh, agent for this stuff. Do you have the blade itself that we can look at? Yeah, it's right So we're gonna see the actual blade so this itself. Is a prototype and it's gonna be like a so it's like a deep cut. You see the, you might see it. Let's see. It's got a very heavy angle on it. And it's, it's, it's kind of like a knife. So like a yeah, like a crafting knife. So very interesting. And it does pivot around. So it does have a pivoting way, just like some of the other blades do. But yeah, there you go. So how long is the actual knife? Do you know? Like this is how. Uh, no, just Mrs. Sarah. Okay. Now. So this will, and you don't have to bond. Nope. All of these were tied without. Without not bonding. Okay. And it's because of the, the mat. 
Oh, there is a different mat. Yes. So, the, so there is a different mat. And this is just a prototype. These are both prototypes. Um, the strong tack mat works great with like um, different fabric without any okay. stabilizer. Strong tack mat. Okay. And so when I look, I knew So the great paper did fine. That's yeah. a great cut. What's the expected uh, release date? September. September. Price point? There you go. So we're not sure we're at the mass, but yeah. So this will be able to cut fabric, felt, Yes, a nut yet. I'm gonna, I kind of, but I want to get over there. Right. The felt, the fabric. So let's take another look real quick at the uh, mats here. This one is, which one's the strong? Strong one? This, okay, here's a strong tack. And this is just a prototype, so it's going to have the grids like the regular or like the series. It's going to have the numbers on the outside. So numbers on the outside this time. And it will be a different color. There you go. So different colors for different uses. Okay, thank you. There you go, guys. Perfect. Let me ask, let me find out if it can. So give me just a second once she's done talking. Will this blade also be able to be used in the other machines? Or yes. yes. Cameo too. There we there go. There he goes, everybody. Now you know. Portrait. Perfect. So there you guys go. Perfect. All right, let's see what else we got here. Uh, one of the new things, the only thing they, not new machines, but new way of coloring the machines. The machines are now going to be, instead of just the cover, the entire machine will be new colors. So there's the typical white. This one looks like the black, so it's all black. The blush. That one will, uh, proceeds will go to the, portion of the proceeds will go to that. A slate. Let me get over here. I'll get out of the way. Hot pink, so it's not just covered. The whole machine. The whole machine will be that way. And if, I'll see if I can get it. If you can get it. See if, I, if it'll get in focus here. Get that light out of there. Yeah, I'm trying to get. I'm, there it is. There we go. So you get it's sparkly. Including the slate gray. So these two here have a uh, sparkle. And there's that blush. And the blush too has sparkle. Maybe it'll focus. Let me see if I focus on cameo. There we go. Yeah, this one's nice. They call this one blush. And this one is uh, a light blue. I forget that they have an actual number uh, name for this. So this is really cool. Let me give you just a down shot of everything here. So, uh, yes, thanks for uh, making this live. So there's all the colors there. Very, very cool. So not just the lid this year, but the entire machine will be in these new colors. And I'm trying to see. That blue is called aqua. They're calling that light blue there in the bottom there is aqua. So very, very cool. Yeah. And let me also, the guy just, I just remind, remember that when you open up the machine, everything is that color, including the carrier, so everything is that color, not just the outside. So we'll look at the uh, gray here. The hot pink. The black, very masculine. Of course, the original white. Very, very cool. So we're going to go over to the table real quick of our, uh, they're doing uh, the breast awareness. We all love the breast awareness. They did very well last year. 
So they are coming out with some uh, new tools and covers all done in the pink as well. Here's the tools that are done in pink. And there's the pink like we showed you earlier in the sample pack. But isn't that cool? New ways of carrying your stuff or a dust cover there. These all will then, the proceeds will go. Isn't that cool? Thank you ladies very much for doing this. This is wonderful. All right, let's see how our, yeah, this is uh, what it looks like. Of course, the good old mint. Yeah, the case with the handles, that's really cool. Really nice way. Of course, anybody who has not seen a mint, the mint is so cool on how easy it is to create your own stamps. You can mix or keep them singled in the, when you do the inking. We have a mint and that's how Kenny created his own stamp with his own logo. So very, very cool. Sorry if I miss out on a uh, question, and sometimes I kind of miss out on it. So there you go, guys, everybody. If there's anything else you guys want to look at it, let me know. I can go back to it. We'll kind of quickly go over here and see that Alta. The Alta comes out next month. $2.99 price point. One thing of... Uh, the filament and there's other colors that are going to be about 15 bucks for new filaments create your own cookie cutters it's very very cool how they're able to keep the footprint really small by doing everything this is all done on the print on the and there's a 3d printing software with a silhouette to make this now whether or not this the software is all, that as far as we know is only for silhouette but we don't know I like that vase look at this vase So uh, they did really well with the new 4.2 4. is the, the latest, one. the newest, We will latest. have it to start testing it out, but I don't know if they have an official release date, but we will have it, they said, I think, today. Yeah, but we I can get it today, yeah. Stuff, yeah. But, um, so yeah, did you show, can you show them the gray sparkle? I didn't know. I showed, yeah, I showed all, all of them. Yeah, the, those, all of those, all the machines are sparkle. Not all of them, they all? All of them are. And the colors go all the way through the machine. So he hasn't seen this, anybody. He needs to look. Except for the white. Well, the black doesn't. The pink, all these four have sparkle. Well, I take that back. Only four have sparkle. But the entire machine has the color. So it's in this color. Yeah. See? Yeah. Uh, any questions, anybody, while we're here? Anybody want to see anything? Anything you want to re-see? Just keeping out for a, for a response for any questions. We'll be more than happy to do that. The crap for... lead I'm really interested in, in using because it will be the solution to the people for the Cricut Maker. Yeah, it will um, be. You know, because the Maker has that rotary blade. So to be able to cut without you know, fabric stabilizer or something like that yeah. would be huge. So I'm excited to see that and cut felt and yeah. cut the that. Um, and then for me, the creating your own font and That's silk really screen cool. um, and then the Oracle is huge. Yeah, do a comparison. What did yeah. they think? Of, what did you guys think of the dementia? The, uh, the, the, the doming? The doming stickers. Yeah, some people like that. Yeah. Nice what did idea. they think about the 12 hour wait time? I haven't, nobody said anything yet. Okay. They haven't said it. Yeah. So let's uh, pop over there again. All right, thank you. 
Yes, the screen the screen printing is new. That's brand new, yep. Yeah. And so basically what it is is you're gonna cut Renee said Renee said twelve hours is fine. Cool. Hey just print so do it and then come back. What you're gonna do is you're gonna cut your your thing out of the so let's see. So you're gonna cut out of this. So you're gonna cut so on this model. Your design, then you're gonna lift off, and then this will lay. So the, the negative image is where your silk screen yeah. will be. And then you get the wood kit that will stretch it. So you actually mm -hmm. have a... Somebody was asking, can you use the 3D printer by itself as a standalone? Yes, it will have its own software too. So you have its own Sorry. software. Yeah, it will have its own software and everything. Yeah. What's cool about the software is it literally is a click and drag thing. So the software really is like you just click it, drag it into there, and it automatically forms to it, which was pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. So is there anything else anybody wants to see or questions we can hopefully answer? Because we'd be more than happy to do that. Demonstrating the puzzles. That's in the feature in Silhouette Studio as well. So the software, yeah, software. We'll have that lasso section, which is off to the left. Where you can lasso it to the section. Yeah. And you can make your puzzle complicated or, or not complicated? For the 3D printer, that's cool. So Silhouette 3D is a separate complete, so they don't need to have the Silhouette Cameo to run that if someone just wants a 3D. Okay. So and then what was the shape thing you guys showed, where you could bring in anything and change the, uh, you could add different, make it from a sun to a cork wheel, what was that called? No, it's in regular Silhouette. That's what, and what's that called again? Flexi shape. So this flexi is really shape. cool. So you can bring a shape in, but you can you have a little dial where you can change. Yes, you can see that. So awesome to see how you can be able to change. There's a cog wheel there. You can change the number of spikes. That and then you can actually take it in there. Now you have a sunburst and turn that into a Change it, fill it in with yellow if you wanted. Very cool. And then, how much freedom do you have with the puzzle? Can you create your own puzzle pieces, or is it a generalized? So, so this you can is creating your own so puzzle. So, this is creating your puzzle. So he's grabbing a, a picture. And then he's selecting puzzle. Okay. Very cool. That's so cool. So it looks like Very they cool. basically looks like what they did here. Let me see if I can fix it here. They, on this one here, they did it just straight on paper. Yeah. But then they transferred it over to a foam board. So foam core. So you can actually create if you wanted to, of course. If you had a machine that can cut the foam really well, then you can create your own puzzles. And of course. Cool. Very cool. So there we go. Let's see. All right. Well, you guys have any questions from now until this room is open until five o'clock? Is it? Yeah. So we can come back and do another video, take a tour, look at something closer. Just reach out to us. We can yeah. pop in Absolutely. and stuff. So thanks for joining us. We'll thanks let you guys everybody. go. Bye. Ciao.